What's going on everybody? Ryan Williams here from FanDuel on the Hurry Up and I'm here talking about NFL veteran season long targets for your fantasy team and this is going to be number two. I already did a segment on on veteran uh, targets for your season long fantasy teams back in July and I'm back again now to talk about three new guys, two running backs and a wide receiver who I think are going to make a difference for your season long fantasy teams. Let's start with Chris Carson. Chris Carson comes in at RB19 if you're looking at ADPs over the past couple of weeks starting from you know the end of July to where we are now. Chris Carson, he he's a guy that I feel like people sleep on. They they don't know what to think of him. He was banged up last year, only played in those 12 games. But even considering that he played in 12 games last year, he was still RB19 in PPR formats. And this just goes to show you the state of the running back position. If a, if you got a lead back and they're, you know, going to play in an explosive offense, one like Seattle for 2021 that I think a lot of people are expecting with new offenses Shane new offense coordinator Shane Waldron coming in, then you want to have exposure to these offenses. And Chris Carson is an easy way to do so with Seattle. He's going around in the fourth round, possibly even in the fifth round if people are doing their best ball drafts right now. And this is a guy I think you can definitely, you want to lock in as an RB2 for sure. If you even have him as an RB1, I think he will uh, pay off dividends for you. Shane Waldron's going to come in here. Yes, he has a complicated offense. Yes, he's getting along with Russ and people want to buy into the passing attack but I think this is going to pay off dividends for Chris Carson as well too this is a guy who in 2019 saw well over 300 touches in 2018 before that he was creeping up in the 275 range from touches and if he can play a healthy 16 I think we're getting close to 300 touches again we know that Pete Carroll loves to run the ball loves to get that establishment keep keep uh keep the defense on the field and Chris Carson is the e easy way to do so with that I, I love getting exposure to him like I said to get exposure from this offense I think Shane Waldron is going to be nice if you recall this guy was the offensive mind uh, for passing game passing game coordinator with Sean McVay in LA had very successful years with Todd Gurley at running back and if we can translate that some over to Chris Carson I think you're looking at a top 15 back easily this year Let's talk about another running back, veteran running back in Mike Davis. He comes in at RB26, and he hasn't seen his ADP fluctuate all too much since around the end of, maybe not the end of the draft, but from June 1st on. He's been in the RB27, RB26 range. Now, this guy, he came out of nowhere filling in for, for uh, Christian McCaffrey. He had kind of been in the league, but moving around to spots. But, man, Carolina was, was happy they had him. He's RB12. RB12 for this season last year, and this guy's going now at RB26 in Atlanta, and I just don't get it. Arthur Smith is there. He's, you know, loves to run the ball, loves to have a lead back. Talked about how they didn't feel like they needed to draft a running back in the draft because they had a guy like Mac, Mac, Mike Davis at the home. That's got to make you excited, and I don't think people are buying in. I'd be well happy to have a guy of Mike Davis's caliber as my RB2. So if you're going for a zero or, you know, if you're going for attacking late round running backs this is a guy that you want what we love about mike davis too is the is the uh catching receiving ability that he offers you you know and i'm not going to talk about him being christian mccaffrey light because he definitely wasn't that even though he filled in okay he filled in admirably last year with those 70 targets and when i was looking at you know what matt ryan was able to do man when he had devonta freeman there in the backfield devonta freeman had two years where he saw 65 plus targets had a year where he saw almost 100 targets uh in 2015 i believe so I think Matt Ryan's going to be excited to have him. They got Dave Rangone from the Bears, who is a, a, another passing game coordinator, as we're talking about these OCs who are coming in. But do, he was there with David Montgomery, breakout year, last year. If we can get some of that with Mike Davis, I think he's going he's going well under the radar, very undervalued right now. And he's a guy that you definitely want to secure for your 2021 teams. Let's close it out with a wide receiver. You guys might recognize this name from times before of, of past Antonio Brown he comes in at wide receiver 43 in some drafts and listen I mean Antonio Brown you know for what it's worth this guy he's turned it around he, Tom Brady he brought him into New England in, in 2019 didn't work out brought him in with him to Tampa Bay in 2020 it did work out and from week nine on we were looking at 
him being a viable fantasy option wide receiver 22 from from week nine to week 17 and he had those four or three games at the end of the season where he was able to catch four touchdowns he really caught his stride was banged up heading into the playoffs but secured secured the ring and and the thing about Antonio Brown was kind of similar to what I talked about with Odell Beckham in the first video I did with veteran targets is the antics just haven't been there he's been all business playing football getting ready for the season he's going to have a full off season with this team hopefully if he stays healthy gets a full season and at wide receiver 43 that's just that's just way too way too low for a guy of his caliber i mean he should i i, I would bank on him finishing wide receiver uh wide receiver three range um, when you're talking about Antonio Brown, a guy who people were taking not too long ago in the first rounds of their drafts or as a top three fantasy pick. So look for Antonio Brown to definitely have a have a bounce back season, uh, so to speak, again in 2021 and to help out your 2021 fantasy teams. That's going to do it for me on the FanDuel. Hurry up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the YouTube channel to catch all of the FanDuel content and all the hurry up content that we are offering you guys. Hoping to get some preseason DFS content rolling for you on the channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Ryan Alexander underscore W. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.